Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just want to give you guys a quick tip on how I store my bucktails and jigs and casting tins, metals, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is just a spinnerbait box from Plano. And I don't have any of the inserts in. I took them all out. And I cut up a bunch of sprinkler tubing from Home Depot. That's all this is. Uh, they it comes in two sizes. This is a smaller size. You can get a bigger size for bigger jigs and bucktails. But I can fit um, 30 of these little tubes here. So I could th store 30 jigs uh, or bucktails in here. They always stay upright. So the hair doesn't get all kinked up. I know a lot of guys, or including myself, used to use Plano boxes. And the problem with the Plano boxes, let me just show you quick, is that once if you if you have them in your car and you're you're very mobile, if they kind of just kink up to one side and all the hair gets all clumped up and it's just not ideal. I don't like it. The hair gets all messed up. Also, for the for your tins, if they keep shaking in here. They're going to lose their luster. So I like to keep them either my tins and bucktails in something like this. Or if I need to go mobile, surf bag, uh, in the kayak. I actually keep this box in the kayak as well. Um, but for extra room and if I, or if I want to put in a compartment or my surf bag or even my waiter pocket, I have these ammo rifle sleeves that fit all the smaller jigs perfectly. Um, they don't really fit the big ones too well, like anything over like three quarter an ounce, uh, they tend to kind of be a little bulky for this. You can put them in a shotgun shell sleeve, but the hooks just aren't long enough and they don't sit like this. Uh, so these things fit perfectly. If the bucktail jig has hair, it sits perfectly straight. I'm just trying to take one out here one handed. So this is, this is the way they sit in there, you know. The hair stays perfectly straight and you just take the jig and you fold the hook over on itself and you stick it in. I do this with one hand. And here's the shotgun shell sleeve with some of the bigger bucktails that fit nicely and they just they stay out of the way. The, the, look at the profile. It's super thin. I could fit this anywhere. You know, I'll stack these in, on, on, in the kayak in anything. Uh, or in my surf bag. It's just, it's very convenient. The hair stays straight all the time. So a couple of the ways that I like to store my bucktails, especially if I'm in the surf or the kayak, uh, instead of using the sleeves like this or the Plano spinnerbait box, um, I like to carry them in tactical language pouches. Very versatile. I could probably fit like 30 bucktails in here. Um, Yes, I have to go through them a little bit, but usually I'll separate them like half ounce, three quarter in the front, one, one and a half, two in the back. And you can keep them pre-rigged with whatever trailer you want. And they lay nice and flat. They don't get ruined in here. The hair kind of stays put once you velcro this together. And it goes right on your, your belt or it anywhere in my kayak. I could just put this on the side of my seat, between my legs, wherever, in a milk crate. Uh, very versatile little pouches. I also carry uh, the Mac Angler bucktail pouch once in a while. It depends on what I'm doing. It is a little bit bigger. It is a little bit bulkier. I tend to like overpack this. I'll put my soft plastics in the, plastics in the middle and my bucktails around the edge like you see. Um, but another versatile little pouch. Um, these things are like indispensable. So... Yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I hope this helps some of you out. And stay tuned for hopefully some more videos coming up, some more content, uh, some how-to stuff, and hopefully some fishing videos and maybe some catch and cooks here and there. Stay tuned. Thanks.